let's just go ahead and start with the unboxing uh obviously when you receive the box this is how it looks like and then when you open it uh you're gonna see a purple bag where the hair uh came in but now let's just focus on this small love me hair white bag and what i received inside of this beautiful and amazing bag obviously i got uh ages control bras and also uh i received this amazing and beautiful a small mirror right here which i think is very helpful and also a love me hair uh, affordable luxury wrap and then i also receive a jewel caps so this is how the wig looks like as you guys can see the hairline is pre plugged and also come with adjustable strap and it's water wave and the closer is some time five so now let's just go ahead and start using my powder i decided to do to a, a scoop and then i'm gonna go ahead and eyeball the cream as you guys can see and i'm mixing two type of creams i'm gonna leave all the products down below in the description box so in case you guys wondering what products i use and now i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use my even new york uh wonder lace spray and i'm gonna spray in the hairline as you guys can see that's gonna help me keep all the hair uh, out of my way and then after that i'm gonna go ahead with my knives and we're gonna apply the powder and yeah basically that's how i customize my lace something very simple and easy and after that i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna let it set about uh 25 minutes and then i'm also gonna wash the hair out of the camera and i'm gonna condition it and everything so basically that's all i did so as you guys can see this is how it looks like and now this is the next day as you guys can see the hair already get dry and i'm just using my hot comb because i'm gonna kind of like plug the hair a little bit even though the hairline can pre-plug it as you guys can appreciate on the video i also decided to pre-plug it to make it looks uh, the way that i like and i didn't plug that much i just plugged a little bit so that's something that you should have in mind is all depend of your life if you want to pre-plug it you can do it and it's not necessary if you don't know how to do it you know so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and honestly i really love the result i love how everything uh thrown out and yeah basically that's what i'm doing right now hey guys how you guys doing today and as you guys can see by the title today i'm gonna be doing my hair and today we're gonna be using a love me hair wig you guys saw me customize and plug the wig and this is how the wig looks like after it gets dry as you guys can see this is how it looks like if you guys wondering i'm planning to do something a little bit different today i'm planning to show you guys how you can actually wear this without a glue since it say glueless i want to see how it's gonna look like without a glue for my friendly beginners out there and also i'm gonna glue it at the end because i'm planning to have this wig a little bit longer and i'm gonna start by using my got to be glue to uh slave my hair back So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my wig cap. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the wig as you guys can see. I'm gonna take my Eben uh, New York Tintin Lace uh, Spray and I use the shave medium brown for those who are wondering. This is how it looks like. It's very important that you make sure that you use the same shave as your skin uh, tone. That way it's gonna melt very well in your skin. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks before I apply the spray and also how it looks uh, when you have the spray on. As you guys can see, this is how it looks like. You guys can also see the wig cap like through the lace and everything so we're gonna move the whip cap a little bit on the back you don't see the whip cap that much but you can still see it through here i don't know if you guys can see that now i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna take the spray i promise you guys that since i discovered this a uh, product my weight game have changed a lot as you guys can see this is how the wig looks right now I don't know if you guys can still see the wig cap but as you guys can see this is how it looks like i'm gonna go ahead change the wig cap and go to a darker uh, wig cap than the one that i have underneath and you guys are gonna also see the difference so i don't know if you guys can see the difference this is the wig cap that i'm gonna be using obviously this wig cap is uh, a little bit darker than my normal skin tone but it's better than the one that i had before because that one it was uh lighter this is how the wig looks like and you can't see my whip cap at all 
the reason of it because after I apply the spray and then uh, use a whip cap that is close to my skin tone is gonna be hard to actually see the whip cap so if I part my hair you guys can see that it's hard to tell where the whip cap is so that's why it's very important that you use a whip cap that is close to your skin tone and the uh, spray that is close to your skin tone as well we have the wig exactly where we want it now i'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace so i'm gonna start by cutting the middle part of the wig as usual so i'm gonna take uh, my brows face razor this one right here guys can see this is how it looks like so i'm gonna take my bronzer and the bronzer that i'm gonna be using is this bronzer from anas that's everybody here and this one is in the shape morgani this bronzer is exact as my skin tone what we're gonna do i'm gonna flip this just like that and then i'm gonna take like in a small fluffy brush don't apply too much take all the excess uh, out and we're gonna apply that just close to it so from here what you can do if you have like excess of powder or you feel like you apply a little bit too much like how i did take your wipes and then just go on top trying to go uh, a little bit light that way you can kind of like take the extra um powder that you don't need i'm gonna take um my elastic band and we're gonna secure the wig this also going to help us to slay the wig down even though we didn't glue it i don't know if that make any sense but you guys are gonna see the final result you have to make sure that it's very tight i'm gonna go ahead secure that and now we're gonna go ahead and style the wig Something that As you guys can see we have the hairstyle on this is how it looks like now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take water and i'm gonna spray it that way we can get the cross back because after all the heat we put on the hair we kind of like lose a little bit of the the cross <music> looks like when they are wet so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead out of the camera do a level of makeup and show you guys how the final result looks like so as you guys can see this is how the wig looks like honestly i really love this wig so much so i don't know what you guys think so this is perfect for any uh, friendly beginners out there as you guys can also tell i didn't glue the wig no we didn't the wig is still exactly 
us at the beginning and as you guys can see it looks realistic it's giving us a scarf and that's what we're always looking for so this is uh, a proof that you don't always have to uh, glue down your wig to have a natural looking wig so let me know in the comment down below what you guys think about this wig honestly i don't know i love it I love this so basically what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue it down so i'm gonna be using the same glue the same process that i always do except this time we're not gonna be doing a bulk cap method <laughs> So now I'm gonna let it sit about uh, 10 minutes and after that I'm gonna see you guys. to wear the curls the hair and honestly i'm in love with it like can you guys see this can you guys just appreciate those curls like oh i'm in love the only thing that i use on this hair basically is water and my uh hair serum that's all i use so as you guys can see this is how it looks like oh my god i'm in love with this so basically as you guys can see this is the final result and honestly i love this hairstyle so much i decided to do a side part and i didn't do any edges or anything like that this is how the wig looks like as you guys can see honestly i love the curls the curls look so beautiful and i don't know if you guys can appreciate the curls looks very nice and the hair is still wet as you guys can see i don't know what you guys think about this hair but i just want to see you guys that i'm gonna leave the direct link of this hair down below in the description bar as well i'm gonna leave my discount code in case you guys would like to purchase the same hair this unit is very nice it's fabulous i love the density of the hair it's 150 but it doesn't look like 150 like for me it looks more like 180 because the hair is full and beside that i also love how beautiful and nice and easy the lace melts to your skin and yeah basically that's all about today's video let me know what you guys think about this video please make sure that you comment down below Hello. you subscribe to my youtube channel have you subscribed yet as well don't forget to click notification bell to be notified every single time that i update a new video on my youtube channel and the most important part please make sure that you comment down below how you're doing today and also which uh, way you will rock this amazing unit so yeah uh, thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys on my next video bye